here's the picture of the, of the rubber airplane. The idea was that if we uh, had somebody that we wanted to rescue, we could uh, parachute, or we could drop the rubber airplane to the individual. They could uh, inflate it and then fly it out of the location. Now, how you trained to do this, you know, knowing that you were going to be down and needed to be ready, I didn't never quite understood that that piece of the operational scenario. But the, but the rubber airplane worked. It 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 flew and had a uh, had a distance of a couple hundred miles and would fly at about 70 miles an hour. But all of these uh, technologies, uh, as, as neat as they are, uh, nothing has really grabbed the attention of the public like the rat, the freeze-dried rat. Mm. Now, now, Randy, to be spelled with an I or a Y, I've never decided, determined exactly what, is an example of concealment technology. You know, when, when we are uh, doing operations, we need to uh, pass information, we need to pass code books, we need to pass money, maybe need to pass small cameras to an agent. We're always looking for a, uh, you know, a mechanism to, uh, that would not be detected for, for a dead drop concealment. And in most cultures, rats are fairly abhorrent. And in most cultures, nobody is going to pick up a dead rat. So the rat, you know, uh, think about the rat in terms of its concealment value. You see, you've got about a three inch body here, and do you eviscerate it and open it up? You can get, you know, an inch, inch in diameter or so cavity. We put a lot of, put a lot of stuff in that cavity and, uh, you know, go out and uh, throw it down at, uh, you know, Maple and Nutley or, or something <laughs> like that under, <laughs> under the uh, stop sign and uh, tell the agent, you know, come by in a half an hour and, uh, and pick up that dead rat. You know, most, most people uh, are not going to pick up the rat. So, you know, it's, it's a fairly, fairly safe. Is that an actual dead of, rat? Oh, yeah. It's, yeah. it's not a now, it was, simulated it was, rat? No, no, no. It was originally white uh, <laughs> because, you know, because rats look different in different parts of the world. They have different coloration. So what the uh, techs did, they'd use white rats and then with Miss Clairol, they could uh, fix, fix it up to look like the particular area that they wanted to But any, anyway, you know, uh, human beings wouldn't pick up a dead rat, but of course a cat would. Mm. And uh, that, that meant the chemists at OTS had to uh, engage in probably a couple million dollar research pro, uh, program to determine, you know, how, how wouldn't rats be picked up, what would cats not like, and uh, they did find and it was, uh, finally found a chemical formula for uh, <laughs> deterring rats or cats from picking up the rats. So you press, spread a little Tabasco sauce on your dead rat, your cat won't pick it up. So.